So please join with your name. Let me share my screen. Okay, for the last time, can you confirm if my screen is visible? I have already wasted five minutes of time. Okay then. So let me share my screen. And uh, so last session we were discussing about the what Java cursor. I mean cursors in collection framework, right? So while discussing about cursors, we have completed discussing about enumeration, and we have completed discussing about what. Uh, the iterator and the last topic was list, list iterator. So we have successfully completed the cursors part in the Java collection framework. Okay. Today I am going to introduce a new interface. I am going to introduce a new interface. The name of the interface is what? The set interface. Okay. If you want to understand the set interface, let us understand the, uh, you know, uh, where exactly this set interface is occupying in the collection framework where exactly does the set interface is in the collection framework okay to understand that let me open my paint screen okay i let me import it uh, one minute so collection set okay so this is the diagrammatical representation of collection framework so far we have completed what we have completed this part so this list part has been successfully completed yes or no do you agree with me we have successfully completed this list part so we have understood array list we have understood vector list we have understood linked list and we have gone through what is stack and we have also understood their internal data structures right so today i am going to introduce about a topic called the set interface okay we will understand what is set interface right and again we will understand its implementation classes which is uh, asset, linked asset, and implementation interfaces, which is sorted set, navigable set, and tree set. If you, if you observe one thing, uh, the, the things that is highlighted, okay, the rectangles that, that, that is highlighted, they are called as what? Interfaces. So collection is an interface, set is an interface, queue is an interface, list is an interface. So these are highlighted. They are highlighted in a specific color. Okay, the non-highlighted non uh, rectangular boxes are what? They are what? They are classes. Okay, so let us understand what is set. After understanding what is set, we will understand what is asset, what is linked asset, and what is sorted set, what is navigable set, and what is tree set. Okay, so if you, if you understand, if you try to, uh, you know, uh, get these things from the test book, there will be a lot of confusion created. So I am going to keep it very simple. Okay, the... Uh, Explanation will be very straightforward. Please focus here. Okay, shall we start? Type S in the chat box. Everyone? Are we good? Everyone type S in the chat box. Okay. Okay, now set. What is set? Set is an interface. I can say that set is an set is one of the interfaces in the collection framework. It is one of the interfaces. The collection framework okay the i can also give by looking at the diagram i can also add one more point okay it is a child interface it is a child interface to collection interface so collection interface is acting as a parent to the set interface so collection interface is parent because set interface is extending to collection interface. This arrow mark is showing you which is the child class and which is the parent class. So now the arrow mark is pointing towards the up direction, the top direction in the up direction, which means collection is the parent interface, set is the side child interface. So the second point can be added as follows. What is it? It is child interface to collection interface we will understand the disadvantages and disadvantages of the set interface and the third point is going to be and since it is an interface it has some functionalities okay set is an interface and it has some it is holding up some it has some properties and behaviors properties and behaviors we need to understand what are the properties and what are the behaviors that it is going to possess Okay, let me go go to an example. 
So if I take set okay, by using the set interface, I want to add some uh, some names. Okay. So the object is create getting created for the as set because you cannot create an object for the interface. Okay, this is a generic type, so let me import it. So it is available in java.util.util package. Okay, I need to import this also. So this is of generic string type, right? So this is an interface, this is a class. Okay, now, now let me add few objects here. I want to add some names, guys. Very simple. I want to add some or let, let me add some countries. Countries. Okay, I would like to add five countries. So let us go with the country India. Okay. So India is uh, one of the countries that I want to like, I want to add, and I want to add few more countries. So the second country is USA. The third country is the third country is Japan. Okay. The fourth country is let it be China. The fifth country is let us take Russia. I want to add these five countries and uh, I want to print the reference variable. Okay, just try to remember the order. The order is like the first country is India, USA, Japan, China, and Russia. Right? If I try to print the reference variable, okay, see the order is not getting preserved. I hope you are able to find the difference. So we have added India first, but when it is getting printed, US is getting printed first. We have added Japan, okay, after USA, but Japan is getting pre printed in the second uh, in the second placeholder, okay. And uh, India has been added first, but it is getting printed in the fourth placeholder. So by this, I can conclude that it is not maintaining what it is not following in session order. Can I conclude this? By this, I can by looking at this, I can conclude that. It is not maintaining the insertion order. Okay, we are inserting the objects in one way, but it is getting maintained in another way. By looking at the output, we can say, or you getting this, or getting this point. But same thing was not there with the list or, or with the array list. If I want to, uh, you know store the same object by using array list. Okay, let me go back to the array list. I want to use array list here. You have discussed what is array list already. If I do this, if I try to run this, array list is going to preserve the interstance order. See, India, USA, Japan, China, Russia. Okay, the order is same. Okay, by looking at the output, we are able to say that the insertion order is preserved or not. So array list is maintaining interstance order. But set is not maintaining insertion order. Set is being what it is not maintaining insertion order. Why it is not maintaining insertion order that we will understand later. So this is the first observation that we have understood by looking at this simple simple program, right? So I can conclude this: it is not maintaining the insertion order. Yes or no? Okay. Next point: it internally uses. Hash code values to store data. I will tell you, I will uh, give you the justification for each and every point I am specifying here. Okay, for the time being, just uh, keep it in mind that it internally uses hash code values to store the data. What is it? We will understand in short period of time. It will not take much time. Okay. So it is also, I mean, it, it, it is not following. Sorting order also because when you look at the output, clearly it says that it is not following insertion order as well as it is not following sorting order also. So I have uh, you know come to a conclusion with this point. Okay, so the next point it allows heterogeneous 
elements means with the generic type you can go you can uh, with the generic type you can store homogeneous with the non generic type it is it is going to allow allow you to show heterogeneous elements means let me go back to that example okay the generic type is string if i am not specifying any generic type here if i am removing string okay now there is no such generic type okay if i am removing string means i am very clear that i can add any kind of data it is not limited to string i can also add a number because i have just removed the generic type here okay we run this code internally it is accept is going to accept the non generic type also which means you are able to store the heterogeneous element combination of string and the numerical value possible because you have that control but if you want to specify that okay set you need to store only the homogeneous element if that is the case you will use the generic type so you will mention that string which means this uh, the reference variable is going to accept only the string values you cannot you you are not supposed to add any other values apart from strings if you want to add uh, 100 here it is not possible it's not possible it is giving you an error right now this point is clear it allows heterogeneous element for generic type and homogeneous i mean a non generic type and homogeneous elements for generic type okay this point is also clear okay the last point is it will allow only one null value that's it these are the Uh, important points that you have to remember about set interface so when you get a question like set interface what is a set interface you can answer by just by looking at this okay it is like one of the interfaces in collection framework it's a child interface to collection interface it has some properties and behaviors okay it is not maintaining the insertion order so this point has been proven so it internally uses hash code i will tell you what is this hash code no worries it is not following sorting order also because the output says output is coming in a different order we will understand why the output is coming in a random order so we need to identify what approach internally it is following to display the output in this order in a different order in a random order that we will understand in a short period of time okay so what is the next point that we have it allows homogeneous element for non generic type and heter uh, i mean heterogeneous element for non generic type and homogeneous elements for generic type it allows only one null value so what is the proof here So let me show. Let me try to do. See, countries dot add. I can also store a null value. See, I am able to store null value. But here the important point. Now focus here. Very 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 important point. Very 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 important point. Okay, if I try to add India one second. to try to add country india for the second time first time it was added successfully no issues right but i am trying to add india for the second time and if you see the output you will see only what only one india so you might be thinking we have added two two uh, objects with the name of india india is one india is here and you know it is one india has been added in the first place Another India has has been added the last two places, but in the output we are able to see only one India. Okay, what if I try to add two Russias? Two Russias when I say uh, two similar objects, that's what I mean. If I try to add more than one similar object, okay, it will not accept. Okay, so by this can I conclude that it is not going to allow duplicates? Okay, what if I add one more now? So one more null, one more null value is also going to be treated as a duplicate. Yes or no? Okay. If you are adding a same similar object for more than one time, obviously it is going to be treated as a duplicate. Okay. If I do that, look at the data. The duplicates are taken care. Means the duplicates are eliminated. We can I conclude that the set data structure or the set interface is used to Or why duplicates? For example, if you have a requirement in future that you want to store some unique data, 
it's better you can choose set, set data type right if you use set data type definitely it is going to avoid duplicates if you by chance by mistake you are trying to add any duplicates that is avoided here it is not uh, you know uh, what is what is happening internally it is not allowing you to add duplicates where is the proof this is the proof after adding you are trying to print it it's not getting accepted but if you do the same thing with array list if you do the same thing with array list what exactly happening with array list array list and let me change this to array list as well right array list need to import this okay so if i use the array list data structure or array list class see the duplicates are not removed so india is here and india is also here okay, null is here null is also here russia is here russia is also here and also what is also preserved along with the duplicates it is also following the insertion order okay but when it comes to set okay, set is a special kind of data structure okay, when you have a requirement like you need to take care of duplicates then you can go for what set data structure which means you cannot allow duplicate values so this is the conclusion that i can give so what is the main conclusion that i, I can give you can avoid duplicates and all the duplicate objects will be removed or taken care of. are you getting this so now the question is what is happening behind the scenes so that the duplicates are avoided the second question is what is happening behind the scenes so that the insertion order is not getting preserved okay that things you will understand okay these are the main points that you have to remember when it comes to what set interface okay. hope is it uh, is it clear the theoretical part is clear practical part we are going to see it in a short period of time i hope you have understood the theoretical part everyone type s in the chat box right so let us look into this practically and let us do some deep dive okay so set interface is completed so i can say that to go back to the pro uh, this part is successfully completed we have understood what is a set so i have given theoretical points to justify the set interface right now we will understand what is asset Okay, before even understanding what is at set there are some points that you need to remember on set interface what are the some points i have mentioned something here it is not maintaining the insertion order okay you take a pen and paper and write one note okay highlight this note in the red color use one highlighter okay highlight this in red color what is that note here is set interface is not maintaining insertion order but linked as set maintains linked asset which is the implementation class of the set interface maintains in session order so i have already told you guys if you remember or not so when 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 you are making a relationship i mean even exam the best example is java you are making a relationship with like parent and child relationship right so whatever the things that the parents you know the parent class or the parent interface is processing okay the same things can be inherited to the child okay this set is the parent of asset linked asset sorted set navigable set and tree set so this set is acting as a parent to these classes as well as these interfaces okay ideally set is coming up, coming up with a quality what kind of quality it is coming up it has some qualities the main quality is it is preserving i mean uh, it is not allowing duplicates this is one of the quality okay second quality is it is not following insertion order these are the main qualities 
that the set is uh, that the set interface is possessing okay so these qualities should be followed by all this implementation class asset should follow this linked asset should follow this sorted set should follow this navigable set should follow this three sets should follow this okay but linked asset is what it is trying to do it does not want to follow this property instead of that what it is saying okay i will uh, i will accept all the qualities but instead of not following the insertion order i will follow the insertion order okay it is just overriding this quality as simple as that okay according to set set is not maintaining the insertion order but one point to be noted linked as set is going to uh, is an implementation, uh, implementation class of send interface that is going to maintain the inser insertion order this is one key point that you need to needs to be noted okay second point set interface it is not following sort sorting order also again one more point you need to note take a pen and paper and highlight this point in red okay so sorted set navigable set and preset they follow sorting order okay, again go back to the diagram so set has one more good quality apart from not allowing the duplicates one more one more good quality it has what is that one more good quality it will not follow sorting order okay this property has been successfully inherited by asset asset is going to follow this property liquid asset is also like would like to follow this property but this sorted set navigable set and tree set okay these three this uh, two interfaces and this uh, you know this class okay they have their own internal things which says they will follow the sorting order they are just trying to override this quality okay they are like uh, set even if you, if you are not following sorting order no issues but we will follow the sorting so this is a special quality this is the special quality when it comes to sorting order okay the sorting order is followed by sorted set navigable set tree set likewise this is a special quality that is for uh, that is a processor uh, th that is being processed by a linked asset okay it is uh, following the insertion order okay sorted set navigable set and tree set they follow sorting order so these are the points that you need to remember right and here one more note i will place so what this says it allows heterogeneous elements for non centric type and homogeneous element for centric type but but for sorted set navi double navi double step and tree set no matter what they always allow homogeneous elements it is generic or no, there is no such thing like generic and non centric it always allows what homogeneous elements it will not allow heterogeneous element at all okay so you need to remember this point and you need to remember uh, this point okay and you need to remember this point don't worry so again uh, in there will be we will be looking into each and every class and interface deeply so you need to worry about that just for just i'm highlighting it in the before itself okay the last point here okay set will allow only one null value again note okay, sorted set navigable set tree set they will not allow null value at all Value. trust me each and every point i will show you uh, i will show it to you from the uh, memory perspective so i will give the justification for each and every single point okay just for now just try to memorize these points we will discuss each and you will deep dive into each and every point. okay these are the theoretical things about set interface okay now i want to introduce the first first class what is it under the set interface there is an implementation class very important implementation class so we will talk about what we will talk about asset okay now we will understand what is asset we understood what is set now we will try to understand what what is asset Okay, let me write out write it down here as 
okay i will give you some points at the at the time of giving these points i will also explain you the internal working first point very very important it was introduced in jdk 1.2 so when something is introduced after the java 1.0 version it is called as what non legacy it is a non legacy class okay and third point i will copy the same parts it is a child class to child class to Get interface. Yes or no? Go to the diagram. As map, as I mean, as set is a child class to what set interface? Because set is acting as a parent, right? It's child class to set interface. And the fourth point is okay, it is also not maintaining the instruction order. Okay, let us understand each and every point. It is not made in the instruction order. Why it is not made in the instruction order? Okay, let me go to the diagram. Okay. Now, now you see, guys. Now we focus here. I am taking asset. Okay. I want to take five countries. Or else, let us take the same example. Okay. So I want to take India, USA, Japan, China, and Russia. So this time, uh, the reference variable. Type is asset. Okay, look at the order. Order is India, USA, Japan, China, and Russia. Okay, if I run this code, we are getting a different order. The order that we have insert, inserted is completely different to the order that is getting displayed in the console. Okay, by this I can conclude that it is also not maintaining the insertion. Order. Good. Next point. It's default capacity is 16 so when i say default capacity is 16 right what does it really mean the moment you create the moment you create the object for the asset this one this line the moment you create object for the asset internally what are the things that will happen internally that we will try to understand okay the internal things that we will understand very very important focus here okay i am importing something to the canvas internally by default yeah, this this particular line this particular line this object creation line it is going to create 16 buckets of memory or 16 slots of memory okay this one this one piece of line has the power to create how many slots of memory 16 slots of memory why 16 slots of memory because by default its capacity is 16 right next to point let me add one more point it internally uses hash map i mean it internally uses hashing technique to store values or to store elements okay, what does it really mean what is the hashing technique if you see here now now we will we are trying to you know explore this uh, hash map explore this asset deeply now look at this uh, look at this five instructions look at the five instructions we have added five countries yes or no so we have added how many countries has been added here we have added five countries okay. so these are the five countries that i have just, just that we have just added how internally these things will work i will explain you each and every point how internally these things these values will be stored in the buckets buckets or slots okay so by default you have understood that it is going to create 16 spaces of memory okay and there will be a, there will be a concept of indexing okay the index starts from what 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 
Okay, the size of this is 16, but the indexing starts from 15. Now you focus here. I have added the country India. What is the country that I have added? I have added the country India. If what Java is going to do, Java will convert this country, focus here. Java will convert this country India to an ash code. A numerical number will be generated. That is called as ash code. This country India will, will get converted into an ash code, which is a kind of what numerical number. Let us assume that the number is going to be something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, something like some random number. Some random number it will, it will be converted to a random number. Right? So you cannot use this random number. Random number is going to be a very big number sometimes. The number decimal values will be very big. It is going to be a very big number. So you cannot use this as an use this for the I mean, you cannot use this to represent the indexes because indexes starts from zero. This number is very very large, isn't it? So what you are going to do? You are going to perform a modular operation. Modular operation. Let me repeat. You are going to perform a modular operation. Modular operation. This modular operation can be anything. After performing this modular operation, you should get a value that falls between zero to fifteen. How can we achieve this? Okay, if you have this number, if you have this big number as an ash code, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, focus here. Okay, if you find, if you try to find the remainder with this size, if you divide it by 16, don't you think that the remainder is going to fall between 0 to, you will get any number. That number is going to be between 0 to 15, yes or no? The remainder you will get any number the number is going to be 0 to 15 okay for example for the time being let us say that if you are getting the number 7 okay this India will be stored in the index 7. okay so let me let me let us understand this in a different way Okay, let us put some theory internal working when you want when you add a new element in the as set the element will be converted into an numerical value which is called as hash code okay very simple guys okay let me uh, go back to the code it's just i will remove everything okay i am not even thinking about this hash code. let me remove everything okay, i am taking i am taking a variable name i am taking a variable name as uh, country string country equal to india so this is the variable name so what i want to do here so I want to find the ash code of this. Okay, what I am doing? So I am just converting this country to ash code. I am just getting the ash code of country of, of the country India. Okay, if I print the code. Okay, this is the ash code value. This value is going to be same even though if you try to find the ash code for the country India in number of times, this value will not change. So this ash code is a method, it's an internal method. So whatever the value that you want to add in the asset, that value, that element will first firstly it will get converted into an ash code. Firstly. Okay, it will try to find the ash code. But you cannot consider this as an index number because Logically, the index starts from 0 to 16. It starts from 0 and it ends at 15. Totally, there are 16 elements, 16 possible buckets where you can store the country India. But you cannot consider this as an index because it is a very large value. The hash code is very large. Hash code value is what? Something like 7079349. It's a very large number. I need to find a way to convert this number in such a way that it is going to, the remainder is going to be between 0 to 15. If that is the case, 
okay i can use a formula like integer bucket bucket equal to okay, use the code modular use the modular operation 16 okay you are you will get a remainder but remainder cannot be more than 16 math simple mathematics right even though the number is in the size of crores or in size of billions if you divide that by 16 you will get the answer between 0 to 15 if it is successfully divided by 16 the remainder is going to be 0 if not there will be a value but it is going to be between 0 to 15 only right if i do this i will get a bucket number that falls between 0 to 15 so for the country india i am able to do what okay internally i am able to uh, convert this india to ash code or convert this object to ash code okay uh, because this ash code is going to be huge value but i do not want this huge value i want to get a unique number that is false that falls between 0 to 15 so i am dividing this ash code with the length of the bucket the length is 16 i mean uh, i start from 0 but the length is 16 so you will find a you will get a reminder the remainder is in our case the remainder is what as per our logic the remainder is what remainder is 7 so for the country india i am able to get the remainder 7 do you agree with me so this india will be stored in the location 7 now focus focus okay now let me add india here okay what is the next country next country is usa same thing same operation i am going to repeat USA. Okay, if I run this, it will get a bucket number. Bucket number is 3. So the USA will be stored in the exact third third index number, which is what 3. Okay, what is the third? What is the third? Japan is there. Okay, third one is what? Japan. Yes or no? Japan. Okay, first uh, it will convert the uh, Japan into ash code and this ash code will be uh, converted to a unique number with a modular operation and you are getting what? 6. So Japan will be stored exactly on the 6th position. Okay, what is the 4th one? 4th one, uh, there are 2 more countries, China and Russia. Keep it in mind, China, we have China and we have Russia. China. China is also getting 7 this time. China is also getting 7. Okay, now if you see, 7 is already occupied by the country India. 7 is already occupied by the country India. So again, China is also getting the same index number 7. Okay, what will happen is, since the, you know, since the elements are different. So first element is India. India has got the index number 7. China is also getting the index number 7. There are high possibilities because it's a mathematics. So remainders can be same for uh, you know many number of objects you cannot guess that what will happen is it will create a linked list inside okay a, a new branch will be created in the form of linked list okay and the china will be stored yeah so this concept is called as what ash collision don't worry about this thing ash collision is nothing but when two elements are getting the same index number you call it as what collusion what is it collusion Pollution. For the time being, uh, if we forgot, uh, we, we do not want to think about this pollution, we will get confusion. Just imagine that we don't have this China. Okay. First, we will work only with the uh, with non collision values. The last value is what Russia. I will explain what is collision in the uh, after completing this talk to avoid the confusion. The next value is what Russia. Let us see what uh, Russia is going to get. Russia is going to it is going to it is giving us minus 5 because the ash code is negative number so let us take a different uh, Russia let us take a different verb or let us change the country to Kenya you want to get only positive values I am just trying to explain you the internal things ok we are getting 12 for Kenya we will stick to Kenya only we will stick to Kenya, this is not Russia, we will stick to Kenya because this is my own logic. We will stick to Kenya. So this Kenya has been converted into an ash code. 
and it has get this is called index number 12 okay. 12 will be placed exactly on top of i mean uh, i mean in kenya so on 3 we have usa on 6 we have japan on 7 we have india on 12 we have kenya okay now if i try to add countries dot add if i try to add india once again now here is the takeaway if i try to add india once again what will happen internally right again the hash code will be calculated for the country india yes or no again the hash code will be calculated for the country india right and you will get a bucket number the bucket number is seven itself value is same when element is same for the same element you will get the same bucket number for the different element you are getting the same bucket number that is collision for the same element if you get uh, you will always get the same bucket number that is not the collision that is a replacement in this case what will happen in the memory level okay it will try to find the index of seven is already occupied by the same country india right so this will be replaced this will be replaced with the new india this will be this existing country will be replaced with new india that's why duplicates are not duplicates are not avoided duplicates are overridden and if you try to add japan one second if you try to add countries dot add if you try to add japan japan is also a duplicated country isn't it already we have added japan okay if i try to add japan once again internally it is going to convert this japan into an unique cash code after that it is going to get a bucket number japan okay if i run this code right six you are getting the six already six is already occupied by japan okay this will be erased and new japan will be added right so look at the order look at the order order is firstly we have added india secondly we have added usa right thirdly we have added what japan fourthly we have added kenya this is our actual order okay but there will be a cursor will be a current of cursor will be created it will extract all the values all the occupied values first occupied value is usa okay so usa will be displayed in the console right second occupied value is what japan so japan will be displayed in the console okay. third occupied value is india india will be displayed in the console and the last occupied value is what kenya kenya will be displayed in the console okay this is the reason why the insertion order is not minus so this is how we have inserted this is how the order of our insertion india usa japan kenya but this is how it is going to get printed usa japan india kenya this is the this is the main reason why the order is not getting maintained and this replacement this replacement is the main reason why it is not allowing duplicates duplicates are not getting allowed because the duplicates are getting replaced it is not maintaining order because internally it is using a technique called hashing mechanism that is going to generate the random numbers random indexes and on top of that random indexes the respective elements are getting stored are you getting this so we will see this deeply but our main agenda is internally these are the things that are getting, that is getting happen internally it internally uses hashing techniques to store element what is an hashing technique this is what the hashing technique is what is an hashing technique as per my as per my explanation if you add an element india this india will convert it to hash code okay internally there will be a model there will be operation called modular operation okay the formula for modular operation is different in java programming language i have used a simple formula here for our understanding i have used a concept of code by uh, code and uh, what is it this is the concept this is what i have used code percentage 16 the internet is going to use a different formula to identify the bucket number okay but the idea is it will calculate hash code and it will try to use a modular operation to find the bucket number the logic is same but the formula is different so you are getting a different bucket number internet is going to get a different bucket number but 
internality is using hashing technique that's what i'm trying to say okay because of this hashing technique it is not able to follow what it is not able to follow the insertion order okay it is not able to follow the it, it is not able to maintain the duplicates it is all about what as said as a you know as a uh, core java student as a fresher you won't be getting this kind of questions even for the experienced people who are keeping experience for three years of experience or who have four years of experience okay? they just ask you about the internal things so this explanation is more than sufficient enough to crack the interviews basically you understand how it is working that's it right so let us go back to the program okay this is our actual program now you understood you have got some idea okay if the order is india usa japan china russia but the order is in a different order because internally each and every element is getting converted to hash code and the and due to the modular operation it is going to get a bucket number and according to that bucket numbers the answers are going to get displayed in the console okay and when i try to add a duplicate value like for example if i try to add india for the second time india for the second time you will not see only one india will be there but if i try to add india in in different cases this india is not same as this india why because this is a this india the second letter is lower case here the second letter is upper case so both are completely different if i run this it will not be considered as a duplicate so you can see india india this is not a duplicate what is the actual duplicate because this is going to get a different hash code this is going to get a different hash code case sensitive java is a case sensitive programming language when you say duplicate it means it should be duplicate according to the case sensitivity also right now i will also give you one more input so this is also important interview question if i try to add null okay, the placeholder of the null is also always going to be the first why it is always going to the plus let me add null anywhere let me add the null anywhere it is always going to hold the first position i will tell you why first question because the hash code the hash code for null is zero okay and for zero the bucket number is zero so null will always get the bucket number zero that's why it will always be displayed in the you know first element as the first element if you're trying to add something like countries dot add and if you want to add null okay the null always will get the bucket number zero that's why at the time of iteration okay, this will always place it in the beginning null, null will be always occupies this zeroth index right can you add one more null can you add a duplicate now if you add another duplicate null this existing null will be replaced and the duplicate null will is going to replace the existing null. so literally duplicates are not allowed right so by this i can conclude that it internally uses hashing technique to store elements okay it allows only one null value okay this point is also justified it will not allow you to at duplicates that position concept we will discuss that that in hash map classes not in the asset there is a class called hash map classes hash map it's a future topic after three days we are after four days we will discuss this as well there i will explain about the collision also for the set it is not required okay so it will not allow you to add duplicated values or duplicated elements Okay. the ninth point is its load factor load factor if you get locked out of this meeting room please reach on its load factor is 0 0.75 percentage or fill ratio is 0 0.75 percentage what does it really mean okay by default we know that this ash set is going to occupy 16 units of spaces index starts from 0 to 15 right by default it is going to uh, give you what how many spaces 16 units of spaces okay. 
Okay, this is the size of the default size of what as well. Let me import it once again. So this is the default size of what as map. Okay, now you focus here, guys. By default, it is going to give you 16 unit of spaces. Okay, the uh, load factor is 75%. What is the 75% of 16? 12. Yes, sir. 12 is the 75% of 16, right? At the moment, it consumes 12 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. As soon as it starts consuming the 12th space, the size will be doubled. The size will be what? The new size is going to be what? 32. Why 32? Because the load factor is what? 0 0.75. What does it mean 0 0.75? As soon as the 75 percentage of the memory space is consumed, the size will get doubled from 16 to 32. Are you getting this? Right? Again for this new size, for this new size, for this new size, the load factor is 75. To achieve that, it, it will consume 20, 24 spaces, 24 isn't it, right, after consuming 24 spaces, this size will be what, again, it, this complete size will be doubled, okay, so this is called, this kind of concept called load factor, so I can say that its load factor is 0 0.5% or its will ratio is 0. Percentage. Right, if you get locked out of the meeting room, please rejoin. The internal working, uh, I don't want to mention it here. And the tenth part, it is non synchronized in nature. Okay, the thread is non synchronized, so multiple thread can access to this at the same time. Synchronization concept in non synchronized nature. Okay, its performance is always high. This I in performance because of uh, non synchronization, it is not a thread shape. Let's say. It cannot be used in multi threaded environment. Environment. It lacks data consistency. Data consistency cannot be maintained. So, these points we have discussed in array list, the same points apply here also. Data consistency is not painted. Thank you for rejoining. Okay, the data consistency is not maintained. So, the last important point, it is used for frequent search operations. Very, very important point. When you want to something, when you want to search some value frequently, okay, it is used for frequent search operations. Okay, now, interestingly, so we are able to add the element, okay. But if you want to delete the element, the same approach will you need to follow the same approach. Even for the deleting the element, even for the adding the element, okay, it is going to follow the same hashing technique. Okay, to delete the element, for example, let me go back to this code. Okay, so these are the countries that we have added. So this is out is going to give you the list of the countries that has just been added. the countries are listed out like this right 
and if you want to do something right countries dot remove if you want to remove a country like uh, china okay, how this will happen this this particular logic is going to use the hashing technique what is going to use is going to use the hashing technique so this is what we want to perform you want to remove china okay firstly it will identify the hash code for china it will identify the hash code for china right and it will get the index number by using the modular operation right definitely it is going to get the index number okay china we did not use right we have used kenya in the previous example not china okay kenya let us consider this as kenya okay it will convert this kenya element to hash code and this hash code will get will get an index number okay it is going to give the right index number where kenya was stored okay it is going to get the tool index number so it will be able to identify the val element kenya so it is it will remove directly so literally it is not fetching the element here it is trying to get the bucket number here it is just trying to get the index number of the bucket number and it is deleting the value whatever the value it is deleting because it is is sure that the value is going to be kenya only so for adding the element for the deleting the element the same concept hashing get the hash value after uh, convert the hash value to the index number add the element for deleting get the hash value convert that value to the index number delete that number you might be getting a question for example if something if you want to delete something that is not even exist you want to delete cuba is there such thing like uh, you know uh, cuba yeah? right so it will not have any effect it will not have any effect it will get a kind of bucket number something and all but it will not literally have any effect so scuba itself is not there you are trying to remove something that it, that is not even there this will get an hashing number it will it will get an uh, hashing number it will get an index number or bucket number and it will try to remove something on that bucket number okay that that there will be nothing there to be deleted that's why you don't see any effect there right so for what i'm trying to say is for adding an element for removing the element it is going to follow the same hashing technique okay this is the last one very important it is used for frequent search operations okay there are four important constructors here okay, what are the four important constructors that we have we have first constructor default constructor public asset okay very simple this is the default constructor this is talking about what default constructor okay what this default constructor is doing this default constructor is creating six 16 spaces in the memory by default okay there is a second constructor called a overloaded default constructor so this one is public asset so second constructor is going to accept a capacity if you don't like to give 16 as a capacity you have the power to give your own capacity i do not want if you do not want to go by the default value if you have any other number in your in your memory if you want to give the capacity as 20 accept it if you want to give the capacity as 10 accept it so this line is going to create 10 spaces if you want to if you are giving 20 this line is going to create 20 spaces so you have that control you can define your own capacity by this constructor so this is the second constructor that we have capacity third constructor we have another overloaded constructor so you can have capacity at the same time you can have what load factor okay. the load factor is 0 0.75 percent by default okay if you don't like that load factor if you want to give your own load factor you can do 20 is the capacity and you can give the load pack factor like 0 0.50 okay, you can give your own load card if you are giving 0 0.50 here yeah, it means after consuming 50 percent of uh, the 20 spaces which is after consuming 10 spaces this size will be doubled we are giving the load factor as uh, 0 
after occupying 25% the size will be doubled if you are giving load factor as 0.85 after occupying 85% the size will be doubled you have that control you have that control this is the third you know third uh, constructor so these are the three main constructors that you should have right so quick recap we have discussed about set interface set interface we have some valid points on set interface so this is going to give the common features okay if you want to uh, have the common properties the common properties are defined in the set interface for all the implementation classes and interfaces this is the third point this is the fourth point it is not maintaining insertion order but you need to note this point linked asset will maintain insertion order okay the fifth point it internally uses hash code values to store the data. I have given you the explanation of both these hash code values. Sixth point, it is not following sorting order, but this point needs to be noted. Okay, this is the seventh point. Okay, and this is the eighth point. Okay, set has been completed. We have also completed what is an asset. We have also seen the internal working of the asset. So if you want to uh, remember key points, remember this point. Okay, and remember this load factor point. Okay, remember it is not allowing going to, to add duplicate values and it is always used for what frequent sets of patients. Okay, and how many constructors are there in the asset? We have three main constructors. Okay, this is the default, the size is 16. Okay, this is going to, if you want to give your own size, user defines as you can specify that. If you want to give your own size as well as own load factor, you can use this okay so let me repeat this once again so i'm not repeating this so these are the internal things this formula may vary but internally they are calculating the index number by converting that into ash code after converting that into ash code yeah they are going to calculate the index number with some kind of operation which is similar to the thing which you have just done now these are the internal things you can keep this in mind why i have explained the internal things to make you understand that why it is not allowing uh, sorting order and why it is not allowing insertion order that's all about this set and asset tomorrow we will see what we will see linked asset and navigable set these things will be covered very easily you do you have any questions for me Any queries?